Dear friends, welcome to my video. In this video, we will see how to get Google Play Store or, or option or the icon in your emulator or AVD also we call as your Android virtual device in your Android studio. So let's see. So we'll create a let's let's create an environment first of all to see where I really want to access the I'll just do next next and I'll leave this for uh, your default versions, it doesn't matter because my plan is to directly target or uh, access my AVD from the device manager. So I, I, I don't care much about the app. So my environment or the studio, Android studio windows has uh, come up and I will just straight away go to device manager uh, over here. Yeah, and if this option is not coming here, you can also go open the device manager by going to uh, tools and then clicking on this device manager over here. Nevertheless, if you see, I have around a couple of uh, 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 devices, virtual device already created. So I'll just quickly show you how to create a device, uh, although the focus is on the Play Store for this video. But if, uh, nevertheless, you can go to this create device option here, this button. And then you can choose which particular uh, you want to create, like a device, which is basically the virtual form of the real device. Google has the Pixel uh, series, so Pixel 6, Pixel 5, and so on and so forth. So let's assume we go for Pixel 6. And then you do next and then you have to choose the image over here and this is the important part so over here if you notice on this image whatever it shows here let me just bring it a bit here in the bracket in the braces over here it mostly writes google apis so if you select any of these images it will just create google apis and not the play store one however so if i go here also it just shows google apis it does not shows the option of play store okay so one option is if i go back over here and select a device say for example uh, pixel 4 and let's go next and no if you see some of the places it is showing google play over here but these are of course the older versions let's assume you are you plan to go for the latest version so which is basically basically the api level 33 so over here it just shows uh, Google APIs but I think uh, if I switch to the recommended one yeah perfect over here I can see Google Play so if you choose this image and click next next and create a device it will create a device with Google Play okay however in this video I also want to show you that what happens if initially you have created a device by Google APIs and then later on you realize that you want to add the Google Play a store icon or the app uh, in your uh, device so that you can download or install other applications in your emulator so for that uh, this is what precisely i've done here this is only a google api based not a, a google play so if you see here if it was a google play it will show google Play, but this is a google api based so if i start this device the google play option will not come by default so i've started it and uh, let them little load up it may take a while I'll pause the video and I'll uh, resume once my complete emulator has come up. So my emulator has come up and I can see there is no Google Play uh, Play Store option over here. Usually it comes here. I can check in other apps as well. And uh, yeah, there is no such option. And the reason for that is if I go back to my device manager and that's the Google API based. I'll also try to explain how it works. So whenever you create an image, uh, create a device and you download an image, say for example, if I quickly go and do next here. So if you see, so for some of these, there is an icon of download, but some of this, there is no icon for, uh, or there is no such symbol for download. That means, it's a local copy of this image which exists in my device. So where is it a store is, if I go quickly, and you have to go, or oh, not over here, sorry about that. Yeah, you should go to your user app data local Android, then SDK and system images. And over here, you'll find the system images based on the Android version. So, say for example, if I look at Android 33, so I have both the versions downloaded, which is Google APIs and Google APIs underscore Play Store. So, if my device, if my emulator uses this as an image, it will work, it will show Play Store option. However, if it just uses this one, it will not show. Play Store option. So how to configure? 
uh, of course, one, one way is to while creating the image, you can do it. However, if the image has already been created uh, and the device is already there, how to do it? So, I'll show you the step by step how to do it uh, in this particular video. So, first and foremost, let's first switch off this particular uh, device. Let's shut it down. So to shut down, uh, of course, one way is to power button, but I think that will just uh, switch off the screen, not the device itself. So what you should do is you should go to your uh, notification area and there will be a small shutdown button. Click on this and then click on power off button. So it will shut down. The way we shut down our real device, it will shut down. It may take a while, but yeah, it will shut down. And once it shuts down in the device manager, so it should get clean here. In device manager, go and Click on this wipe data. Make sure that you have cleaned uh, wiped the data completely. And then you should go to your again uh, 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 that same place. Uh, I'll I'll post all this information on my website. You should go to the your user and then Android dot Android. It may be a hidden uh, folder in your case, so you should make it uh, visible. Then go inside an AVD, which is basically uh, Android virtual device. And you'll see the list of the devices which are installed uh, for your uh, uh, Android Studio environment. It will be displayed over here. So I quickly toggle between my device here. So we, I have three devices here and I have three folders with respect to that one. So over here I want to show you for this Android 6 API level 33. In this will be a file called config.ini ini, which is basically to, uh, like it, in initialization. This is the configuration it takes. Uh, this is a very common file for many of the softwares. So what you, what you should do is you should we have to edit this file. So but before editing, I am always cautious. So what I'll do is I'll just take a local copy of uh, this file because in case something gets wrong, I have a place to fall back to, and I'll have to edit this file. But before I edit, I'll do one thing. I'll quickly close the Android uh, Studio as well uh, environment. Yeah, I'll close and keep it. And now what I'll do is I will just edit this file and I have to edit this two places. One is I have to change this playstore.enable from false to true. Okay. And the other thing is I have to change the image over here. So by default it's Google underscore APIs. I have to change it to the other one which is basically Google APIs underscore play store. You can either copy paste control C. That's in fact better to copy paste. Uh, however, you can yeah type it also. It doesn't matter. Control V. Save this file, close it, and then restart your app. So I just click here, and I'll wait for the environment to load. However, I don't need the application part as I said earlier. And over here, uh, okay, it still shows Google APIs. Just a bit surprising to me. So let me just run it and see how it comes up. And I'll again give it a moment for my every every day to a start. So I'll pause this video and I'll resume once this every day is loaded up. So my emulator has just now loaded up, and if I make it uh, bigger by okay, so I still see this just shows Google APIs, but let me minimize this, and I can see the Google Play Store option here. So I think if I go back quickly uh, to my config file. So this was the file which we edited and the two places which you have to edit is Play Store enabled and uh, this one you have to make it as a uh, yeah Play Store underscore Play Store. So that's all. I think once you create your, of course you have to sign in using your Google account to start using in the Play Store or Google Play. Yeah, but, uh, but however it will work now. So the easiest step is just to, if I go back, Okay, let me restart my Android Studio very quickly. Uh, and I click here, let it start because I am wondering why it is not showing Google Play. I was hoping and assuming that it should have changed to Google Play. However, it is it still shows Google APIs. Most likely because the installation has been done using Google APIs and then later on I have modified the config file. And this information captures from somewhere else and not from the config file. That's my guesses. But nevertheless, if I run it, run this emulator, uh, start this emulator, the Google Play option will come up. Uh, yeah, if you see, uh, if you see over here, it comes up. 
So I'll just briefly uh, summarize the steps. Even if you have created the emulator up front, just uh, close the emulator by going to the power button over here from the uh, notification area by clicking over here. And then uh, once the your emulator is closed, click on this web data, close your Android Studio, go to the place where this uh, AVD exists and just modify the config.ini file, in file by changing these two uh, parameters. One is playstore.enabled and the other one is changing the image directory to Play Store. I'll put all this information on my website, so please look for them. So that's all. I hope this video is useful to you. And if you have any questions or suggestions, please put in the comment section uh, below. And if you like this video, then please subscribe to my channel. Thank you and have a nice day. Bye.